Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Good day, sir. In our channel, we bring you the latest and greatest gadgets that will level up your entertainment experience. In this video, let us see about Firebolt Smartwatch Ultimate. This is a new product which Firebolt company has come up with. It is called the Ultimate. The series of this watch is called Ultimate. It is like a made in India product. Usually the smart watches which we get of Indian brands are not made in India product, but this one is a made in India product and it has been manufactured in Mumbai. So I'll show you all the details further. Let me walk through you around the box and let us go for the unboxing next. So on top of the box it says Firebolt Smart Watch Ultimate and it has like 1.3 inch display that is 35.3 mm large hd screen full touch display it has bluetooth spo2 monitor and heartbeat sensor this is mahindra singh dhoni's signature on it it has one to three sports modes bluetooth and made in india logo here and to the side it is written as ultimate firebolt smartwatch make and receive calls display message notification and brightness control the other side of the box says heart rate tracking and spo2 monitoring to the next side it says again 35.3 mm that is 1.3 inch display it says large hd display and it is metal case body and to the next side the price mentioned here is 15000 let me open the cover on top of it and show to you so that will be little visible So on to the other side, you have the model number of the watch, part code number and generic name. The price on the box is like 15,000 and the color is brown L. It has one unit of product and the package contains one smartwatch, one user manual, warranty card, charging cable and the year of manufacture is June 2023. It is manufactured by Savex Technologies Private Limited. The office address is at Mumbai, Maharashtra and the manufacturing unit is at Gurgaon. So there are a few other details like customer care manager address telephone number email address and the company's website on to the back of the box you have the features which says bluetooth calling track spo2 sleep monitoring camera control multiple watch faces music control smart notification weather updates the main feature of this is like bluetooth calling display message incoming call notification as we already saw in the screen resolution here it says large hd display so it is like 1.39 inches display that is equivalent to 35.3 mm the resolution of the watch is by 240 by 240 pixel it has training modes like walking running cycling skipping badminton basketball football climbing tennis and more the monitoring sensors are like heart rate spo2 sleep mode monitor, sedentary and drink water, reminder, step counter, calories and distance. It also has controls like voice assistant, timer, weather update, smartwatch, alarm and sedentary reminder. So this watch supports iOS 9 and above and also supports Android 4.4 and above. So these are their social media handle. So that's all is in the box. Now let us see what is there inside the box. Once I open the box, inside the box you can see the watch itself and there is a protection for it, remove that. This is the watch itself. As of now, I'm keeping it aside and see what is there inside. So that's all, nothing is there. As usual, as it was mentioned, it has the charging cable. As an offer, now they are giving three months Ghana Play Music subscription Free book my show voucher then this is the warranty registration card so these are the brand ambassadors of this product and 
this is also like one more membership which they have tied with uh, geo spotify and play unlimited games let me show you all these things and this is the watch user manual all the details are there and if i get the soft copy of it i'll give it in the link below we'll keep all these things back we will come to app and other offers things once we connect the smart watch to the mobile so we keep all these things aside now so this is a watch it has like leather strap onto it and it has some pin card onto it let me remove it there are a few scratches on the guard after removing this protection cover on it there is like one more cover on it or might be a temper glass for it it is also has many dust inside so to prevent it from further scratching i'll remove this cover they add paste and protector film on top of it but then too that protector layer was having lot of dust inside it so i have removed it again so now let me open the wrap place it onto the table and show to you the back of the watch you have this charging point and the heartbeat monitoring level so it was also having a protection cover on it i'll remove it now let me connect the usb charger and see how much percent of battery it has so i am connecting the usb port to the switch here and powering it on once it is on i will connect this point to here as it was not charged out of the box we had charged it and now it is 70 to 80% charge let us continue it so friends we saw the unboxing of the firebolt ultimate First let me take you to the user interface of the watch then we'll connect the watch to the app and see so as you know this is a round shape watch and it has two buttons the so one is like dialer and one is like a button here and the build quality is like very nice and it has a leather strap to it the dial whatever is there they have good finish of metal there are like four variants available to this exact same watch as it is a luxury category watch they have it in brown with leather strap black with a leather strap they have a silver steel strap gold steel strap and black steel strap what we are having now is a leather brown strap so let us see the ui of the watch so once i press here you can see the dialer and so if a long press we can change the dialer so the default dialer is this we can change the dialer by long pressing it and selecting whatever you want if you want a retro kind of stuff you can just press it like this so this will have the retro kind of watch or if you don't want the retro kind of watch long press like this so here you have the date day how many footsteps you have taken and what's your present heartbeat and there is small animation also here so this is about the dialer i think there must be many dialers we can see it once we connect to the app let us see the features of it if i press this and swipe right you have the menu here so inside the menu there are multiple settings here like first is ai voice it comes when you connect the watch to phone and second is the brightness of the display how much ever you feel you want you can keep it then this is a timer or stopwatch this is a breath exercise stuff when you are really stressed or anything you can just you start using this and press start it gives you the command here like you will have to do eight times like inhale and exhale so it gives the here so it says exhale and inhale So this completes your uh, training of inhale and exhale. This is a timer. You can set timer for 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Then below the timer you have the play and pause button for the music. When you connect the phone, it will be activated. So you can see this indicator here. If we go back, this is the oxygen level. I'll show you once everything is. paired and uh, i'll wear it and show you all this stuff and this is the heart rate sensor heartbeat calculator basically this one also i'll connect it and show you and you have messages here now presently it's not connected so it is saying no message then you have a torch so you can use this as white uh, screen as a torch in case of emergency then you have a sleep calculator how much sleep did you achieve all this stuff sir there this is all we can see only when we connect it to the mobile and uh, there are like workout sessions here this inside workout you have equestrian workout walking running cycling skipping badminton basketball football swimming climbing tennis rugby golf yoga fitness dance baseball elliptical indoor cycling pre training so in the box they had mentioned it like 123 workouts so there are a couple of workouts here if you want you can add it like this like if you go to add sports popular 
rowing machine is there then water sports is there inside water sports you have sailing water pool other water sports paddling water skiing kayaking rafting rowing power boat fin swim dive artistic swimming snorkeling kite surfing open water swim so all these are there inside water sports now let us go to the outdoor sports so inside outdoor sports you have rock climbing skateboarding roller skating parkour atv paragliding trail running on foot kabaddi okay once we go back once we go back for the training it is stair climber stair climbing stepper core training flexibility pilates gymnastic stretching strength cross training aerobics physical training wall ball dumbbells barbells deadlift upper body sit up function training burpee back workout lower body abs hit training indoor walking indoor running weight lifting all these are there in training now let us see what is there in dance square dancing belly dance ballet dance zumba latin dance street dance folk dance jazz all these are there in dance now let us see what is there in combat sports like boxing wrestling martial arts tai chi muay thai judo taekwondo karate kickboxing fencing kendo once we come back and if we go into the ball sports inside ball sports you have volleyball softball hockey table tennis cricket handball squash billiards shuttlecock beach soccer beach volleyball spak takra bowling all these are there in ball sports when you come to winter sports it says ice skating curling other winter sports snowmobile ice hockey bobsleigh sledding skiing once we come out of winter sports inside the leisure sports you have archery darts tug of war hula hoop kite flying horse riding frisbee fishing once we come to the other sports it says athletics auto racing like whatever from this menu you add it it gets arranged itself here so in the further video we'll see how to remove these menus from this then we come to the next menu that is games it has like one game okay there is one game and there are two games in it one is young bird one is 2048 so you can try all these games once below the game there is shutter button once you connect to the phone you can use this next there is blood pressure monitor so you can check your blood pressure i'll connect the phone and i'll show you this next you have a uh, steps like how much you have walked and what is your calorie burn what is the total distance you have walked in 24 hours what is the time that you have walked all these things are here and it has like 7 days records there will be more record once we go to the mobile and next there is a power off button switch off it will switch it off then below that you have a weather icon so if you go inside this it says connect bluetooth check bluetooth connection so this will work once you connect your mobile to it then next to it you have an alarm here like there are three alarms here you can set it i guess maybe it works in the phone we'll see that then after that you have settings so inside settings you have stopwatch alarm timer so whatever was there outside in the menu view like it is all combined inside so in this also so you can change how the menu has to be like i come here go to the menu view it is in list now it is all like arranged like this i press menu go to menu view this is honeycomb so this is the honeycomb stuff and again go to menu this, this is the helm helm is nothing but like olden days you had that phone dialer so something is like that then i'll keep it in honeycomb then you can adjust the brightness of the screen there is a vibration device in the watch you can switch it off and switch it on and there is a ringing option you can where you can put it on silent or you can keep it ringing on there is a theater mode where the brightness will go down and i think the sound will also be off i guess there is a reset where you can do a factory reset power off button is there then about button is there where it says what is the model number mac address and its serial number this one if you scan this qr you can download the app so let us now get into the app section and see i'll get it like this i'll take my mobile i will use google lens so i'll go to the menu i'll type 
lens. I'm using Google Lens for the QR code scanning. So I go to this menu. So if I press here, it gives me a link. When you open this, it goes into the menu. So this is the app which we'll have to install now. We can install it like this or I'll just go to Play Store and type DA Fit. So this is the app. So install, open. So it asks for my date at all. I'll give OK. Add device. So it's asking to give an approximate location or precise location using app. OK. Hello. So you get this Firebolt 080. Press it. So it says pairing request. Hello access pair it has got paired so here it is now let me change the watch face so you can have a confirmation if i press this it comes here auto lock yeah auto lock 30 seconds so it is now connected if you want it you can just change the screen and it gets changed here whatever the screens is there you can change it this one says edit if you go inside like there are multiple of stuff inside this you can get it change it so press save So it got changed here there are like multiple face galleries if you come here so many watch faces as there you can download it and you can do it like if you go inside the new watch like many things are there whatever you want you can select it and done this company is like far better than the companies which is available so the other companies will not have so much of faces so this is like far better than other companies you have so many faces here and these are some recommended by the thing there are like art section there is a funny section colorful modern classic activity all these are there so you can select what face you want so default i have selected this so this is coming here so let us go forward let's see in the notification so notification you can select which app you want like phone call so it's asking for all the things to get allowed then message if you want facebook notification you can press this enable so come to all allow we'll have to enable it whatsapp push notification works only after activating the notification permission come here go to da fit then give access for this so here you have all these things like real time ongoing communication conversation notification mute all this stuff so once you give access to it then all this will get enabled automatically so i don't want what so i don't want uh, facebook i have turned it off i want whatsapp if you are have like a good uh, instagram usage you can give instagram or switch it off or if any other apps is there like apart from this other apps also you can uh, give the notification thing so that's why you press others then alarm so alarm you can change it from here the time so this is hours and this is minutes if you want to repeat it press on the number of days you want to repeat then save so it is like this switch it off the alarm gets switched off go back you have shutter here so as i told you the camera app will get opened and if you press this button here it will take photo like it has three seconds of time you press it again there you can see you have this three seconds number running and it will take a photo you can flip it and it opens its own camera application it does not open the default application it opens its own application then let us go forward favorite contacts you can add your favorite contacts here whatever things you want others so find a device when you hit a find a device it will give a noise like that you can set date and time for 12 hours or 24 hours you can set the unit system like metric or imperial you can select do not disturb start and end time reminders whatever you have then heart rate in what uh, frequency you want like every five minutes 10 minutes 30 minutes 20 minutes or things phone controlled music so we can uh, start play and pause with this if you press this i'll switch it off battery saving mode is there once we switch on like all this will get switched off so if i switch on the battery saving here like this so all these things will defaultly get off then you have languages here whatever languages you want default is english or if you're from other country you can select whatever languages you want auto lock is for 5 seconds 10 seconds or 30 seconds default keep it as 5 seconds you can do reset on all the settings whatever you have done until now quick view is there quick view i guess it is a notification or something like this 
If I switch off, nothing comes. When I switch it on, if any notification comes, it shows there. Water drink reminder is there. Like how much of water you should drink. It says at least 2300 ml of water you should drink every day. Like start time is there. Frequency of drinking water is there. Then interval is there. You can select when you want to start. You can select how many frequency in between you want to drink water. Or drink interval is there. Like how many minutes you can select it by minutes here. It will show by hour here. 90 minutes uh, it shows. Then you have heart uh, warning sensor here. Like example when you switch on this. If your uh, heart blood pressure reading goes about 199. It shows you a warning there. So default is 160 beat per minute. Then you have a weather uh, thing here. So that time we saw right. We go here. Go into the menu then press weather. So it shows the weather here. You can change it like Celsius or Fahrenheit. Let us leave it in Celsius. You can select the city here. Go enter the city. So Bengaluru. So it takes that city here. It shows all the details over here. Then this thing is for girls. So it has this menstrual cycle stuff here. You want we can switch it on or switch it off. Go back then upgrade. So if you have any firmware update, it will show here. It says software is up to date. Come back here on the phone. So we have seen everything related to the watch. Now let us see the quick walkthrough around the app. And so here, whatever steps you have taken, it will be there mentioned here. Once it syncs, no, it will come here. Then how many hours of sleep you had, everything will be there here. What is your heart rate will be here. What is your blood pressure will come here. And your SpO2 level, the oxygen level will come here. If you want to start a GPS location for your workout, you can press this and turn on and allow. So it will start here. So here it says running. It will take a Google map here and it will create a map as you go around. Same as for walking, cycling, trail running or GPS on foot. So that is it. And exercise. If you have done any workout here, like we showed the whatever modes is there, no? We have done anything related to that, that will sync here and show here. So this is the watch stuff. Then we'll go to the last. It's my profile. So we can set up the profile details here and uh, you can select how many steps you want. Like for example, 10,000 steps. We can select it here and it will change to 10,000 here. So background operational stuff. So you can read all this stuff here. You can connect this to Google Fit. I'll connect it and I'll press my email ID. So it gets connected there. It lasts for the allow, then connect. So now it is connected to Google Fit. Then about this app, so if you want to upgrade to beta version, you can select it and done here. If you want to read the policy of this app, you can go to this app and just scroll it and read. This is the pretty much about the app. There's nothing much interesting about it. So I like this app because of the faces. Like normal smartphones, whatever the other companies are there, will not have so much of uh, faces for the watch. But this company is giving like really good collections and uh, good stuff. And you can even add your face also inside this. Like go here, choose from album, Google, whatever you want, you can like select it and it will become. So I want to keep my watch, the God image. So I can keep it, select this, adjust it and select it will come here and once i press everything just save that will start syncing here so once it is synced you can keep the same wallpaper on the phone as well go edit and you can keep the time above or below like this like default it is above like this on covering to the face i'll put it down so time will come here you and you can add uh, whatever you want on top of it like now it is presently as nothing is there if you want you can add date here then this is like about time and below time you have so like date and time is there here so this was like pretty much about the watch so before closing the video let us see how this the warranty registration works so in the card there is a qr code i'll take it and again go back to the lens then I'll go to the camera, I'll scan this, it says a link and I'll click on the link. It goes to the Google form for the warranty registration. So here I'll enter all the details here. So this is a model which is entered, then I'll give next. I don't know what is this option one, the order ID. For the order ID, I'll select this photo 
and I'll take the order ID which is in the email text. I'll zoom it. So this is the order ID. I'll long press here and I'll place the order ID here. Date of purchase. It was purchased on 6th July. Set. Come down and submit. Submitted successfully it says. So this is how you do the warranty registration of this watch. We come to an end of this video. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and families. And you know the drill what to do. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. And if you find anyone wants this watch, they can buy it to the link which is given below. Thank you. See you in the next video.